More women are learning the art of self-defense here in our area. It's a skill that could be life-saving. WBRE, WIOU, Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers is live in Scranton to show us some techniques. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, guys. Like you said, life-saving. So we are here in Scranton, and I'm here with Robert and Margaret this morning. So first off, just tell me a little bit about what you do here at Tsunami Self-Defense. So, so we're, we're teaching proactive measures and defensive measures. So uh, if we want to avoid a situation, you see somebody coming towards you, we're going to show how to, how to back up and kind of uh, back away, open palms, kind of de-escalating, hopefully, trying to tell people to calm down. But if you have to, you can strike from here as well. Okay, right. so we're going to do a palm strike. We'll show you that real quick. Um, and again, this is not confrontational to start. We're trying to be like, whoa, we don't want to trouble. Mm -hmm. Mutual fighting is a crime. We don't want to do that. We want to defend ourselves. But if we have to strike, we're going to open palm strike with the heel palm, perfect alignment with the radial and ulnar bones, and we're going to strike towards the, towards the head and face, towards the jaw. And that was interesting to me because I always thought that you sh everybody punches, but they're saying you're, there's a better way for when just yeah. to defend yourself it, in the streets. It's called a boxer's fracture for a reason, right? Metacarpals <laughs> pop like toothpicks, your knuckles break. Um, in boxing and karate, you want to hit with these knuckles far more often than not. The pinky and ring finger get impacted and they break. And so we're going to go palm striking. Plus, right. you might get an eye poke or something as well if you're hitting to the jaw mm -hmm. line here. All right, well, Margaret, let's, let's see what you guys got Margaret over here. We're going to do a few, and she's going to shout no for, to, to, to like sort of like bystander intervention and everything. Like, draw attention. No! Yeah. No! 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 Awesome! Want to try? All right, I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to hand you off the mic right here. And so. Right, defensive posture. And so give me an example real quick. What could, what could this situation be? Okay, so maybe you're coming out of the gym or the, or the, or the supermarket or something and somebody approaches you and you want to stop back and say, stay away, stay back. Right. Stay, you know, give a verbal cue. You want, we want you to take control of the situation. Um, back off, stay away. Okay, so you're going to drop back. You're right-handed, so the right leg goes back. Your hands go up. And really show you have nothing in your hands. Right. You want to show that defensive posture. All right. Straight. No, no, no. Awesome. So this could this this is something that really could be life saving. It's something that really people should know. Just in general, women, ev kids, everybody. Sure, absolutely. Um, so this is this this could be a stun and run. Now again, we don't want to get into this long, drawn-out confrontation and fight if we don't have to. We can just uh, strike and, and flee. If, if not, this could be, maybe be the first thing before a takedown or uh, knees and stuff come into play. So, yeah, but uh, women, co-ed, children should know these kind of things. All right. Make sure that you stay tuned here on Eyewitness News. We have a lot more coming up on this at 6 a.m. So back to you guys.